walking sagittal hip DA. So with the walking sagittal hip disassociation, this is the same exercise in a walking pattern as the sagittal hip disassociation strength series level one. In this exercise, you want to stand on one leg with the 20 degrees of knee flexion. Keep the floating leg in femur in line with the spine as you bend over and you reach towards the little toe. Keep the spinal alignment, keep the pelvis neutral, the rib cage down, the cervical spine in line with the thoracic and lumbar spine. Pull up, go into hip extension, and pull all the way through to get to about 15 to 20 degrees of hip extension here as you step into the other leg. Once you're supported on the contralateral leg, let that floating leg come up, keep good spinal alignment, pull through into hip extension and step with the other leg and repeat this consecutive process for the prescribed dosage of repetitions.